are back at it again with another video. Today is um, June 8th. I'm fine on my toes. <laughs> my toenails. I mean, this is like a little bit, uh, you know, a little personal. Here. Okay, so we'll go back when you're done. So, um, we are back after, because Mimi's done filing her toes. So now... <laughs> I did one toe, but I one foot. Then I got to do the other foot when I go home tonight. Yeah. Yeah, because so, it's gross and we don't want to see it. Well, you should talk. You go to a foot doctor. He goes to a foot doctor. It costs a lot of money. He's getting very expensive. He goes to a foot doctor, ear doctor, a kidney doctor. Eye you know, doctor. And all those kind of doctors. Now we're over our granddaughter's house right now. and We're babysitting. Well, not exactly. One's 12, one's 10, Sophia and Ellie. Yeah, they're not babies anymore. No, they're, they're not, not babies babysitting. Anymore. You know, and uh, so Ellie's in her room and Sophia is videotaping us. She thinks we're interesting, but I think she's a little crazy because I don't think we're very interesting. You are interesting. You're funny, but you're naturally funny. Well, you know, you're naturally you don't funny. get to be 70 years old without, you know, laughing a little. And, uh, you know, you Actually, have to Actually, Rose said the other day when I went for my haircut, she said you were funny. Your Rose? wife was in, yeah. She said your wife was in They think I'm funny. Yesterday. I was talking and serious stuff about my, uh, my dysfunctional family. She treated me good and supported me well. And, you know, and I supported right. him well. And we raised two fine children. And, uh, and three grandchildren. Yeah, well, that's not our responsibility. We're just there to love and spoil them. Yes. And uh, that's what we're going to do. We don't have to discipline them True. or worry about their college education True. or uh, their belly yeah. aches and all that. We don't that. have to be here 24 7. With right. Yahtzee we could just go, here. you know, yeah. <laughs> Yahtzee. 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 Today they only had one little disagreement. That was because uh, upstairs, uh, little Ellie, her foot fell asleep and it was a major incident where she was screaming and yelling. And I didn't know what the hell was happening, but it hurt. I had to get her uh, ice pack for her foot that fell asleep. And I told her if it was very serious and she screams like that, I might not take it seriously, and uh, next time I won't run. Right. So I told her, Because it'd know, be crying wolf. Yeah, she was, I told her about the crying wolf story. You know, you cry wolf and everything, and then when it's really a wolf comes in the house, you don't believe the kid. Right. So she got mad at me, and she's right now she's uh, in her room, and maybe she'll talk to me later. But right now I'm getting the cold treatment. Cut the grass yesterday, <laughs> and then his back was hurting him because you know that the mower, the tractor, is a real hard job. You know, he gets all shook up on there. I guess he dislocated his. No, uh, it was because I was weed whacking too. Oh well, what do you do? The weed whacker does everything. What do you do? You just gotta. Hold you gotta it. hold it. Well, how did that throw your back out? Because you gotta. Hold the weight of the motor is behind them. Oh, excuse me. So he his back is hurting and my back's hurting. Up. Well, not so, too much. Not today. It oh, was good. yesterday. But All right. Well, then you give today. me a back rub tonight, okay? Wow. If, if you treat me good. You're going to give it to me whether I treat you good or not. <laughs> be good. Be good. You won't get an allowance next month. <laughs> yeah, I give the guy $20 a week. He used to get $5 a week, but now, you know, I figured, you know, he's worked all those years that he deserves at least $20 a week. I told him, don't spend it all in one place. You know, I he, I, I don't, I don't want to give him any more than that, just in case he gets a girlfriend, you know? That's enough for maybe right. two times at a coffee shop. Right. Maybe one time at the cross, it depends on what coffee shop you go to. Well, you can't go to Starbucks. On, depends on whether you buy a donut or not. No, you, you can go to Dunkin' Donuts, but. Starbucks, I think that would be it. <clears throat> Twenty bucks would be going with a oh yeah a bagel and a and a, and a and a and a coffee. In a heartbeat. You can't take a date there, so no. <laughs> so I don't have to worry. And I he gets all his needs met. Whenever he needs anything, I'm a he's a kept a, man. He's a kept man. I let him spend for his holiday. How many should I let him spend? I let him spend about a couple of thousand dollars for this stupid antenna. He's a ham operator, and it's uh, it looks like he's going to Mars. It's it's about. Oh, I'd like to say about 20 or 30 feet wide. It looks like an upside down umbrella we got on our house. The whole neighbors think he's talking to UFOs and another planet. And uh, then I allowed him to do become a ham, and he got a ham radio downstairs, this big antenna. And then he's got this, now he's into uh, doing uh, uh, engraving. So it's a computer thing that costs another couple of thousand dollars. And <laughs> no, then, it cost a thousand. Well, a thousand, and then with all the other goobies you buy with it, and this and that. Well, yeah, spent, spend a lot of money so his hobby is very expensive. So we're already he spent about four or five thousand dollars on these couple of hobbies. 
but mm. that's okay. You know, he deserves it. My hobby is uh, playing Scrabble with Sylvia <laughs> and Angela, yes. And Sylvia's still beating me, but I bet beat her once this week. And uh, I was sewing. I made some blankets uh, for the uh, church. church people. Yeah, for the convalescent homes and the and veterans and scarves. And uh, I do reading. And I watch television shows. We're watching this new show called The Tyrant. Wasn't that very interesting? Yeah. I went to a talk? church function. And uh, I brought my blankets and my scarves and my walker bag. And uh, they were talking, these uh, elderly women in our church, about the next generation and all the technology and where is it leading. And, and uh, that's all they do is play technology. and. Uh, our generation was better and then I, I had to disagree with them and I had to tell them well they have technology but they need technology in this day and age and it serves a purpose for communication not only that for knowledge and uh, you know that the, the, my grandchildren do a lot with the technology as a matter of fact they're even making videos and they videotape us and all when they heard that they go oh and you let them videotape you and and show their friends and i said well yeah what do i have to hide i could, I could show their friends and they could show their friends two old people two grandma and grandpa and they're doing a little talking well what what do i have to hide you know i, I just have <coughs> people that have things to hide don't want to be videotaped you know and everything i mean who's going to want to you know capture me or kidnap me i'm not worth it it's not really videotaping it's just it's a video recording We're recording but then they show their friends and they go and you let them put you on I says it doesn't bother me you know <coughs> so oh, what's the matter you got a cold i think i'm getting the cold again oh dear well take care of yourself i will yeah because the last cold took about a whole month i know oh i don't know so uh yeah so uh so I just was sticking up for this generation because I don't think it's as bad as everybody's saying it is, you know? Here we are again. Yeah, I was just talking about, you know, uh, the people are saying it was better in the in the 60s, in the 50s, and it wasn't. I mean, it had its ups and its downs, but it wasn't any better. That the, the kids were more respectful and this was better. And that's not true either. They just were scared. That's all. It's not that they respected the, the, the parents. They just didn't, they talked behind their backs and they did everything behind their parents' back. Okay, Mimi, what else do you have to say about like Scrabble? How's Scrabble making out for you these days? Well, it's, it's frustrating because uh, these girls are pretty smart, you know, but uh, I'm holding my own, you know. They enjoy playing with me even though I lose, but I lose by a, a little amount. You know, it's like usually, uh, you know, I put up a good fight and then they, they, you know, then they overcome me, but they enjoy playing with me. Make sure to subscribe if you like this channel and give this video a thumbs up if you thought it was funny. If you have any ideas for challenges or anything that you want us to do, leave it down in the comment section below. There will be links in the description box for previous videos we've done on a different channel. Those videos are on Unlisted. Make sure to go watch those videos and give them a thumbs up. Thank you and have a good day.